Uh, thank, thank you, Chairman. And uh, Secretary, congratulations on uh, getting the opportunity to launch the second 100 years of the National Park Service. It's a great time to reflect back on what the Park Service has been and what it can be. I, I know in um, your request for money just to uh, focus on this anniversary opportunity to draw attention to the Park Service, a, a focus I certainly don't object to. One of your thoughts there is uh, private donations as part of that. I've got three questions I want to get to here in the next five minutes and 28 seconds, and so I'll try to get that get that done. One is in the um, FY15 omnibus bill, there was language included, report language, asking the Park Service to exercise maximum flexibility in recognizing donors. And I just wonder if you'd want to comment on your thoughts on that as we move forward, and particularly your thoughts on that even in the $300 million request looking for private additions to that. Thanks for the question. I think that there is uh, uh, uniform support from the Park Service and uh, in the language that was reflected in the NDAA to give appropriate recognition to donors. There's no question that we have a high potential for uh, donor money, as you've seen in the uh, Jefferson National Expansion Memorial Gateway Arch and the uh, City Arch River project. Um, and nobody wants to brand, uh, you know, inappropriately, but we do think recognition is important. There's $50 million in the discretionary budget and an additional $100 million in the uh, mandatory recommendation to match donations, which we think will take this great interest in supporting our national parks and uh, spur it to even more greater action. Recognition for donors is going to be an important part of that, and that's something that we're committed to doing. Well, I agree. And, you know, in the, uh, the St. Louis Arch Project that you and I are both very familiar with, nobody suggested neon lights no. or anything like that. I think people's uh, desire to be able to offer some recognition when they're talking to donors uh, is, is usually a, a rec recognition of a relatively modest uh, Agree. Um, impact. And hopefully, I'm glad you're looking at that the way you are. On that same project, Secretary, the, the of course, the, the local input there to expand the Jefferson Memorial, um, the Arch Project. You got uh, $210 million in private donations, $90 million in a, a new tax that the City of St. Louis put on itself for this uh, process. Uh, Park Service budget's $10 million, so $300 million to $10 million. Clearly, local people are leveraging this in a significant um, way, and by the way, there's also a Department of uh, Transportation uh, amount there, 45 million. So it's 55 total federal dollars, only 10 million uh, park dollars. And I just want to say that you know, our ongoing discussions, I think, continue to be better and better in in your team, as well as you understanding. If you're going to look at the second uh, century of the Park Service in a different way you have to truly look at it in a different way. You just can't say we want it to be different in that we want local partners. But by the way, we don't want the local partners with a 300 to 10 match to have any real say in uh, the discussions we're reaching. And, and I think we're getting there, and I think your understanding of how important that is helps get there. The one uh, other question I want to ask on this, though, in that money, the Park Service has decided that the 200 or so million dollars of outside money uh, needs to be paid to the U.S. Treasury under current law instead of put in a, in a third-party escrow account. Um, local donors would love to see any, any income earned on that money go to the park itself for maintenance and other needs. We've been talking to your staff about that. I think your staff is open to how to deal with this new idea of input of local money and how that money is used to benefit the project it goes for. But I wonder if you just comment on your own views on that and what we can do to help you make it possible for those local funds to be truly uh, focused on the local project. Yeah, I think as we enter this second century of the national parks, we're going to see more interest like you've had in St. Louis to uh, communities saying, you know, we don't want the visitor center that just the park service could afford on its own. We want something better, and we believe that can be good for our economy and good for our city, and that's exactly what your folks have done. I think we need to, if there are things that get in the way of our ability 
to get private donations and use those efficiently and effectively, we could certainly work together on changing the law to update that. And the Park Service is working on uh, a centennial piece of legislation to clean up some of the things that get in the way of its ability to be uh, as efficient and effective in its use of resources. So having been to St. Louis and talked specifically about this fund, I don't have an update on it, where we are, but I do know that there was some legal reasons um, why they uh, uh, couldn't do what the community wanted, and I'll see if that's something we can fix in this centennial legislation. Uh, as I understand that, uh, Chairman and members of the committee, I think the goal here would be to come up with some language legislatively if there's no other way to do it so that that money can be invested in U.S. Treasuries or in some other vehicle that provides income for the project that's being donated to instead of just go uh, into the U.S. Treasury and, uh, and, and frankly not be used at all or invested at all or if it is invested to go to other other purposes. So we're going to continue to work with the Park Service on that. And I have a question I'll submit for the record on uh, uh, Doe Run, uh, which employs 1,500 uh, people in Missouri, and how your, your, uh, the uh, uh, Natural Resources uh, Damages um, Group and the Fish and Wildlife Service is relating to that. And I'll submit that for the record. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. 